what is the return value of FPP? So there is a function which they are giving and they are saying FPP. If the value of P is initialized to 5 before the call, that means first of all they are going to call the value 5 comma 5 and these P value which is 5 are passed to the function. Note that the first parameter is passed by reference method. You can also see that there is ampersand x whereas the second parameter is passed by value method. You can see that it is the normal parameter passing. Now see these are some output given to us. Now we have to solve this question. Now first of all this f55 will call the function and they will pass the values which is 5 and 5. And you can see that there is x and c. So we are taking two variables, one is x and one is c. And please note that this is passed by reference method. That means x will be passed by reference method. Now they are saying, first of all, the values are 5 and 5. So if I assume that these values are 5 and again the value of c is 5. Now, the next line is saying c is equal to c minus 1. So the new value of c will be 4. And they are saying if c equal to 0, is c equal to 0? 4 equal to 0? False. So this line will not execute. Now they are saying x is equal to x plus 1. So now x plus 1 is 6. Further they are saying return f x comma c. So now it is again going to call one more function which is f what is the value of x 6 comma c and the value of c is 4 now they are saying multiply with x now they are multiplying whatever the result will come with x what is the value of x it is 6 should we take the value of 6 right now no we will not take the value of x right now because it is saying x is passed as reference so whatever the x is there, that x value we will take from that particular x when it will be updated on the last. So it will put a reference over there. Now it is calling back to the function which is the recursive calling and you can see that it is 6 and 4. You see it is saying now c is equal to c minus 1. So the new value of c will be 3. If c equal to 0, 3 is not equal to 0, false, 3 is not equal to 0, so we will move, x is equal to x plus 1, so the new value of x will be 7, and they are saying return x comma c, so again they are going to call the function which is f, and x value is 7, and c value is 3, and then they are saying multiply x, you may have confusion that why we are not taking the current value, Remember one thing, we are going to call the recursive function and the value will be returned over there. Once the value will return, then we have to multiply. But at that time, what will be the value of x that we will take? So we are leaving that value for now. So whatever the x value will be there, that will be multiplied and that value will be taken from the main value of x because it is the reference type. This is the current calling. That's why I'm taking the current values. And this multiply will be done later on when the result will come. So at that time the result will come I will refer to the current value of x. So that is the future. We will discuss it at that time. Now it is again calling to the function. This time they are saying c is equal to c minus 1. So now the updated value will be 2. If c equal to 0 but 2 not equal to 0 so it will move further x is equal to x plus 1 so x value will be 8 and again it will return f x comma c so again it will call the function where it will take the current values of x and c which is 8 comma 2 and then it is saying multiply with x so whatever we will multiply multiply is the future so the future value we will take from the x because it is the reference type. Now when it is recursively calling this one again it is saying c is equal to c minus 1. So the new value of c will be 1. Then it is saying if c equal to 0 but c is not equal to 0 
because 1 is not equal to 0 it will move further x is equal to x plus 1 so the new value of x will be 9 then return x comma c now it is again calling recursively the function which is f current values are 9 comma 1 and then they are saying multiply with x so whatever we have to multiply with x that is the future the future value of x will be taken from the x value and then they are calling the function again okay and c is equal to c minus 1 so the c value is 0 now they are saying if c equal to 0 return 1 so what will be return so this function will return the value which is 1 when it will come back you see this will multiply with x so what is the current value of x right now 9 so at this stage it will say 1 star 9 the result is i guess 9 then again it will come back to this function this function value is right now 1 into 9 and it is again say multiply with x and the current value of x is 9 so at this stage it will say 1 into 9 into 9 means this value is taken from bottom and this value we have multiplied again you see it is again coming back to this function so this value we already have which is 1 into 9 into 9 from the bottom side and again they are saying multiply with 9 so add this function what is the answer till now 1 into 9 into 9 which we have taken from the bottom and into 9 the current value we are taking similarly when it will come back to this function there will be one more 9 which will be multiplied so that will be what it will be 1 into 9 into 9 into 9 which we have taken from the bottom and into 9 which we have multiplied just right now so this complete answer will be sent back and this particular function will give you this answer and what is the multiplication of this one the multiplication of this one is 6561 so the answer of this question is 6561 and the answer is b